Les Broderick's great World War II escape. In 1943, Royal Air Force Flight Lieutenant Les Broderick was hit during an air raid over Germany. He crash-landed his Lancaster bomber in occupied France, where he was captured. He was shot down and interrogated at De La Luft, and then sent on to Salak 3. Les ended up in a prisoner of war camp, Staloch Luft 3, in Sagan, Poland. There he met squadron leader Roger Bushel, who was determined to tunnel out of the camp and head for freedom. The prisoners dug three tunnels, named Tom, Dick and Harry. After two of the three tunnels had been abandoned, Harry was their only option. The entrance to Harry was hidden under a stove. The tunnel was dug to a depth of eight meters. It was very narrow and 102 meters long. It led towards the woods on the edge of the camp and was shored up with wooden boards from the prisoners' beds. A rope-operated trolley system was used to move the prisoners from one end to the other. There was a draw. It was a wild card. Dad got number 52 out of the 76 who actually got through the tunnel. The 24th of March, 1944, was chosen for the escape. Things did not go according to plan. First, the exit trapdoor was frozen shut, and then they discovered that the tunnel was too short. It opened up near a guardhouse before the tree line. At the far end, the last person out would pull the trolley for the next person. Just before the end of the tunnel, the rope that pulled the trolley back for the next person snapped. And there was no way Dad could actually move round to tie it back together. Henry Birkeland was at the top of the tunnel, and he had to come down, crawl along, crawl over Father, tie the rope, crawl back, go to the top and pull the cart along. And Birkeland had done damage to his ankle. Once outside, Les ran for the cover of the trees. At 5 a.m., when a guard discovered the tunnel exit, of the 200 men who tried to escape, only 76 had made it outside the camp. So there was Henry Birkeland, Dad, and Dennis Street. They were in waist-deep snow in the middle of winter. Birkeland was going septic. He had a temperature. The next night, they saw a light in a cottage in the woods and they decided, hoping it was a friendly farmer, to leave Birkeland there. But when they knocked on the door, it was a bullet for four soldiers and they were captured. Hitler was furious when he heard about the escape and the Germans launched a nationwide manhunt. Within two weeks, 73 of the 76 SKPs had been recaptured. Hitler ordered the Gestapo to kill 50 of the men on the way back to the camps, including Dennis Street and Henry Birkeland. The war ended the following May, and Dad was flown home, strangely enough, in one of his own planes. Les Broderick moved to South Africa in 1955 and was one of the last three survivors of the Great Escape when he died in 2013. In Dad's opinion, he didn't think it was worth it. It wasn't worth 50 lives to escape. 